Okay, this is Kay Pellet from Do-It-Yourself Tech Support, and today we're going to tear down this iMac. What you're going to need is a T8 torque driver, you're going to need a Phillips driver, and then whatever Apple calls this. It's basically a plastic card with a piece of foam taped to one side of it. So, let's get to it. What you want to do is you take out these two screws right at the bottom here with a Phillips but these have to come out if we're going to take the front frame off and we're going to take the other four out on the bottom and you're going to use your torque driver for this so once we get them out the bottom of the frame should become loose alright there we go you can see that it's loose so we're good now what we want to do is we want to get our little card tool and we're going to slip it inside this little slot in the back and what you're looking to do is um, push on two big clips in there these clips basically hold the front top on so you just kind of push in and you're gonna feel it go up and almost into the corner there. Once you do that, you should be able to get this front frame off, the front bezel. So it comes off pretty easily now. What you want to do is you want to watch out for the wires that connect the microphone and your camera. So they are right here and basically if you um, it's easier to do while it's lying down so that's the best way to disconnect that if you wanted to so what you want to do now is kind of peel back this foil tape that's on each side of the LCD and then you'll be able to see the little torque screws that are in each corner of the screen so you should have four of them all together You want to kind of peel that off. If you have some more um, foil tape, you could just kind of pull it off and redo it afterwards. If you don't, you can kind of peel it off little by little in one big piece and then reattach it afterwards. So once we get that off, Now you can look down at the four corners and you can see the little screws in there that we're going to take off. Okay, and the last one. Now you want to just kind of pull it from each top corner and then you can kind of fold it up but what you want to do is you want to put something between the stand and the screen so you're not going to break it you want to be careful because there are cables attached to the back for the LCD so now you can see that we can get inside here so we have the power supply the hard drive the logic board and the CD-ROM so what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the hard the power supply here. We're going to remove the power supply. And there's four screws to do that and two cables. So once we get that out, I can put the new power supply in. and you want to attach the bottom cable first and then the top one I'm going to just lay this back down and I'm going to plug it in just to make sure 
that it's going to work. Turn it on, and we're good to go. Now we can get this front bezel back on. What you want to do is kind of put the bottom on first, and then kind of make sure the microphone and the camera cables are out of the way, and push it down. Now we could put our RAM cover back on and our four screws on the bottom. And there we go. It looks like we're all set here. Let's just plug it in again and make sure that it works. So grab our cable, plug it in, push power. And we should be all set. So if you have other questions about other Apple products uh, or teardowns or, or repairs, uh, leave a comment. 